Assets, Bases and Solves Lecture number one. First of all, how do you get an idea to classify things? We actually go by the taste, such as sour, sweet or bitter. These various tastes are due to the presence of acids and bases in the food which we eat. Do you need some more clarity? Well, some of the daily life examples are, for example, consider a person suffering from acidity. He is usually suggested to have baking soda and lemon juice which are a remedy to acidity. These are actually bases. Recalling the litmus paper studying it in class 9, we know that acids are sour and bases are bitter. We also know that acids turn the blue litmus paper to red as shown above and bases turn the red litmus paper to blue which is shown below now how do we define whether a given substance is an acid or a base for this we need something known as a pH scale now, what is this pH scale? Now, let's know some more about this pH scale. The definition. The pH scale is a scale which is used to measure the hydrogen ion concentration in a given solution. The letter P in the word pH means actually power the values read on the scale are called as the pH values the range of the pH values varies from 0 to 14 when we say that pH equals to 0 it means that the substance is highly acidic and similarly when we say that pH equals 14 it means that the substance is highly basic in nature some rules about the pH scale higher the hydrogen ion concentration lower will be the value of pH the pH of a neutral solution is 7 If at all the pH lies between 0 and 7, it means that the given solution is acidic in nature. If the pH lies between 0, I mean 7 and 14, it means that the solution is basic in nature. Given below is the density of hydrogen ions with respect to the pH. Now, let's deviate from the concept of pH for a while and let's discuss about acids and bases. Now, what is the behavior of an acid and a base in the lab? This can be determined with the help of a litmus paper. Acids turn the blue litmus red and bases turn the red litmus blue. There is another type of indicator known as an olfactory indicator. These indicators actually work on the help of an order. These indicators change their order 
depending on the medium whether it is acidic or basic Now let's see the reaction of an acid and a base with a metal. Given any acid, when it reacts with a metal, we usually get a salt and the hydrogen gas gets released. Given below is the setup which has been previously shown where the zinc granules react with dilute sulfuric acid and hydrogen gas is being evolved similarly in the reaction of metals with the base uh, here also the hydrogen gas gets evolved the example has been given below please have a look The reaction of metal carbonates and metal bicarbonates with acids. Consider any metal carbonate or metal bicarbonate. This when treated with an acid will give rise to a salt, carbon dioxide gas and water. Given below is a setup of how we do this experiment. And given to the side are two examples one with a metal carbonate reacting with an acid and the other is a metal bicarbonate reacting with an acid in both the cases you can see that NaCl is a salt form and simultaneously water and carbon dioxide gas are also being released there is an interesting thing here when we pass the CO2 gas to lime water we will see a precipitate of calcium carbonate being formed this on treatment with water and carbon dioxide gas will give rise to calcium bicarbonate which is soluble in water the equivalent equations have been given below please have a look The reaction of acids and bases with each other. Given any acid and base, they actually nullify each other's effect. This is called as neutralization. So in the terms of a chemical equation, when an acid and a base react with each other, they form a salt and water. This is a special type of a reaction. Those reactions in which acids and base react with each other to give rise to salt and water is called as a neutralization reaction. Please remember this. Similarity between all the acids. One must note that all the acids on reaction with any metal will give rise to hydrogen gas. Now let's prove that H plus ions are responsible for acidity. Consider the following experimental setup. Here I take solutions of an acid, glucose and alcohol. I have two iron A's which are fit to a cork and placed in a 100 ml beaker and these nails are connected to a battery and a bulb. Now when you pour the acid in the beaker, we can see that only in this particular case the bulb starts glowing. This says that the flow of ions which is cations and which is nothing but the H plus is responsible for the glowing of bulb. This proves that H plus ions are solely responsible for 
acidity now the reaction of an acid and a base with water in the case of an acid when an acid reacts with water the hydrogen ion H plus gets formed and it immediately reacts or combines with water to form H3O plus whereas in the case of a base when a base reacts with water we get hydroxyl ions OH minus ions these OH minus ions go into the water and make the water a basic solution which is now known as an alkali the continuation can be found in the next lecture thank you for watching